go, go. Go, 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 go. go. Play down, play down, play down. Take us out. Very good morning. This is Ingo. How are you doing? My friends, my cycle buddies. It's Sunday, 13th of March, 2022. I'm in Cape Town. And today is one of the biggest cycling events happening. It's the Cape Town Cycle Tour. Do you want to know more about the cycling tour here, 2022? Well, then this video is probably not the right one for you because I chickened out. It was raining from five o'clock until basically midday, half past 12. And after careful consideration, as we may call it, I decided to stay in bed and do some video footage, take some pictures of other fellow participants who are were brave enough to do the tour. Have you chickened out? Are you looking for an alternative to cycle on the Cape Town Cycle Tour day? Because you know, the city, many roads are blocked. The roads are closed. I'm staying in Sea Point, and obviously what you can do is don't go along the seafront, go closed off, but you go up the upper level road here through Clifton, and our first little climb is the Glen. It's a little climb. We go up to the Klufneck. Beautiful. And now we see, this is the view down to Clifton. Here they come. Still thousands out there. All the fighters. Look. Amazing. So this is the way you have to go now, up to Klufneck. It's the Glen climb. Uh, three and a half kilometers, around 7%. the view down to Camps Bay. Looks rather grim today. Amazing how the temperatures change here in South Africa. A week ago I was cycling in 48 degrees. Did the garden route from PE all the way to Cape Town. Uh, I've got several videos lined up for you guys. It was an amazing trip. Now, if you would like to see more details on this route I do today, just follow me on Strava. Ingo, Bicycle Beyond. Made it on top of Kluvnek, through Glen. 4.8 k's from the hotel, 250 meters climbing. Mom now. Table Mountain, right ahead of us. You can go left, Signal Hill, down to town. This is the way to Camp Bay later, but first we're gonna go up to the cable car. It's a little climb. Let's do it. Here we turn left. Lovely climb here. How are you? I'm Ingo from Austria. Really? I'm just filming a bit. I chickened out on the Cape Town cycle tour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Raining. I didn't do it. Oh. No, I thought at least I'm not the only one in Cape Town who hasn't been riding the Cape yeah. Town Cycle Tour. No, I must have uh, as well. Uh, a bit wet this morning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm more of a sunshine cyclist. Mm. Mm. Yeah. So I'm just doing a little alternative. No, I'm just gonna let the guys know. So in case yeah. you miss the Cape Town Cycle Tour, there are still, despite the roads closed, yeah, 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 yeah. you still can cycle. Yeah, you still can cycle. So on the, a lot of open spaces. Exactly. Up yeah. here, up the Signal Hill, the Glen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How far are you going? Further um, than the cable car? Yeah, yeah. Ah, yeah. I'm going further. What's your name? Rudy. Rudy, nice, yeah. to nice to meet you. What's your name? Ingo. Ingo. Yeah. Ingo. Nice to meet you. Bicycle Beyond. Yeah, I know Bicycle Beyond. <laughs> wow, that's amazing. Oh, that's wow. it. How big of a con? I've got to wait. But you haven't subscribed yet. Wow. No, fantastic. For the love of cycling. Exactly, exactly. Exactly. Oh, wow. Rudy's going the same way, same way like me. Over there. Well, 
Maybe I'll see you in a bit, yeah? Nice view of Cape Town, City Ball. And this is Lion's Head there. And now we're coming to the cable car station. Today no people, usually it's packed. Again, I must say this weather is more like a winter's day. It's very unusual in March. We see nobody around. So we go further, the far end. It's a bit flattish from here. So far 6.3 kilometers from the hotel. 400 meters climbing. Morning. Morning. Usually there's a big queue here. Here we go up. Morning. Here, you see the cable car? Into the fog. But uh, obviously the visibility is not very good today, morning. But there's a restaurant up there. Chill out a bit. Later on, I think, about four or five o'clock, the sunshine is back. One thing I must mention, a cycling friend of mine, Dennis Hammer is his name. He lives here in Bantry Bay. He's 74 years young. I cycled with him a couple of times. And he finished today his 38th Cape Town Cycle Tour race. With a time of, I believe it was 3.40. In these conditions, well, I'll take my hat off you. Well done, congratulations, Dennis, keep on cycling. So I'm now just put my chalet on, it's the, the mist here, the fog, makes it all a bit nippy. You see the entrance, Platte Clip Gorge, you go all the way up, straight up to the Table Mountain. So there is a way as well in case you want to go by foot. Here it comes, Rudy. Rudy, 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 go, go, go. <laughs> Take care. Have a good day. So we are heading down to Camps Bay. Coffee time and then we cheer on our fellow cycle, Cape Town Cycle Tour participants. See how they are doing. It's about 5-6k downhill, but we are going up again. So don't worry. Still a lot of climbing to come. A quick pit stop for those who haven't seen any of my videos yet. Well, it's time to subscribe now. Check this out, Cape Town City Bowl. Beautiful suburbs down there. Lions at Table Mountain. Milnaten, all the way you can go to Blauberg. Beautiful, one of my preferred places there. The view towards the Table Mountain is amazing. Sunset over Robben Island. Then you go into the Wine Valleys, Stellenbosch. On the left, Durbanville, Franchuk. Crossover, Franchuk Pass into Worcester, Robertson. It's just one spectacular place. On the left side, further up, you go up to West Coast, Langeban. I call it the Caribbean of South Africa. Amazing. And to the right, you go towards the Indian Ocean. You see from Gordon Bay all the way coast, you go up to Hermanus, Hans Bay, and further. It's one huge country. So if you contemplating to come to South Africa for a holiday, not necessarily cycling, any, just come over and enjoy this beauty, even on a cloudy day. Here we are in Camps Bay. Well done, guys. Go, 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 go.
Yeah, they come to fight us, the hardcore cyclists. Amazing. Hard rock. <laughs> well, all the respect to these guys. Not like us, wimps. Amazing work. You know, despite all weather. Look. Well done, well done. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm with Jalen here and she is making sure as well safety is provided at all times. Yes. What are you saying so far about the tour? Very nice. We really have all got nice. Yeah. And we enjoy it. But every year we are here. Absolutely. It's amazing. It's amazing. But Yala, I chickened out this morning. <laughs> I saw the rain and said, no, no, no. Next time. But I come back. 2023. I'm coming back. No, thank you very much for all your good work. Appreciate it. Thank you. It's two o'clock in the afternoon now. Just had a coffee. And now I'm heading up, up to the Klufnik again, but from the other side, here from Camps Bay. Now the sun is fighting, coming through very soon. And I think the Cape Town cycle tour still lasts for another three, four hours. So the guys actually who started later will have some sunshine at the end. So we are up on Klufnek again. Now we turn left. Signal Hill, another climb. One of the best viewpoints in Cape Town. So you come up here a little ramp from the junction, Table Mountain in the background, city of Cape Town, and over there, right at the far end, that's Signal Hill. It's pretty flat, about two kilometers. And then we should have a good view from there. We might even see some fellow cyclists at the finishing line down there. Now we're coming to the top of Signal Hill. Robben Island over there and up here if you come here they are probably the best sunsets you can have here in Cape Town right on that spot over there that's uh, Green Point, Sea Point I'm staying down there Golf Course, Mullin Point that's a famous Cape Town Stadium down there and there you can see right in front of the stadiums you see all these people like ants there, down there is the finish line of the Cape Town Cycle Tour. You come in here, finish there, and normally that green patch over there that's full of tents, music, live music, beer tents, obviously. Still a bit of COVID rules here, so hopefully 2023 that's all going to be gone and we can party in the sunshine down there, celebrate the Cape Town Cycle Tour. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you like this little video alternative route what to do on a Cape Town cycle tour day if you chicken out like me if you don't like the rain I guarantee you I will be back 2023 and pretty sure the chances are very high the sun is shining well greetings from a beautiful day despite the bit of rain here from Cape Town Signal Hill South Africa bye bye